Hey, my viewers, it's your girl, Be Nice T, coming at you at the end of this Saturday evening, our weekend. Just wanted to come on here and say goodnight to everybody. Thanks again for, you know, viewing the vlogs. I appreciate it. And um, today was a good day. Today, you know, I went, I did some laundry, and then I went and um, checked out Dave's Hot Chicken, like I showed you guys today. Do I recommend it? I do. If you like hot chicken wings or chicken tenders i'm sorry it's good you can get them in mild medium no spice hot extra hot so if you like uh hot chicken tenders you can go there their fries are good i don't find a lot of places that have fries that are like uh the crinkled kinds it actually reminds me of i don't know some of you who are back there in the 80s pop and taco remember that place it remind me of their fries so Dave's Hot Chicken, I do recommend it. I think it's a nice little drive to take down there in Culver City and to get you some chicken with you and family and friends or whatever. Would I go back again? I would. Anytime soon? Probably not because I'm not a big fan of, you know, like the hot chicken tenders. But yeah, check it out, guys, if you want. Then I went to, um, we had some uh, practice with my family to Bologna practice. And then this evening was very nice. I was able to go to dinner with some old friends and um, we were able to gather around and talk, chit chat, and um, eat Korean barbecue. So it was a really good, uh, relaxing day. And I wanted to come on here and share that today when I was doing my laundry, there was this uh, Mexican man that came out of nowhere and he was like, oh, good to see you, good to see you. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. And then he was like, put your stuff over here. And I'm like, okay. And I go, I don't know how this works. This is my first time here in a long time since COVID. So he was like, give me your card. You know, he was speaking a little bit in Spanish. Give me your tarjeta. This is what you do. You put the money in, put it in, get the the um, dollar amount on your, your card. Go back to your machine. Here, I show you, I show you. Come, come. And he put it in for me. And then he was telling me to put my detergent in the actual machine and not in the slot above. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So nice. And I go, do you work here? And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm doing my laundry too. I'm doing my laundry. And I was like, that is so nice of this man to just come up to me and start helping me, right? So then I noticed that he was speaking kind of Spanish. And then I told him, yeah, I speak Spanish. So then we we're speaking, um, you know, in Spanish. And um, I said, thank you so much. You know, why are you... Um, why are you doing this? You know, in, in Spanish, I was like, oh, muchas gracias. ¿Por qué está haciendo eso? Yo pensé que usted estaba trabajando acá. I thought you were working here, like a worker. He's like, no, no, no. Estoy ayudando a la persona. Esa es la, you know, manera de mí. Like, this is how I am. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm thinking in my head, like, Miller, all right, sick, sick. So this gentleman was really nice, and I didn't get his name, but I really appreciated his help out of nowhere, you know, thinking he was a worker, and he wasn't. So then he was like, if you want to give me a tip, nah, I'm just kidding, right? So then I had $4 left over, and I was going to give him two. <laughs> My sister was like, give him the $4. Go, oh, okay, cool. So I go, here you go, here you go. Es para ti, para ayudarme. Muchas gracias. No hay muchas personas que están como usted. Gracias, muchas gracias. There's not a lot of people like you. Thank you so much. That's what I was telling him. And so he was like, you know what? I have a big heart. I help all the people at the airport. I work at the airport. So, um, you know, it was just nice to meet someone who was just so helpful and didn't even work at the laundromat. So I really appreciated his help. And he was like, no, 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 gracias a Dios, todo vida, nosotros estamos, you know, viviendo. He's like, thank you to God, we're still living. I go, yes. Es, en, en serio, eso es la verdad. I said, yes, you know, this is serious. You're you're right. This It's the truth. And I said, you have a thing on buen día. And he was like, you too. I said, have a good day. And he's like, you too. So it was just so nice to like out of nowhere have a person who doesn't know you, who's not a worker at the laundromat. So just come out. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm like, okay, sick, sick, you know. So he was such a big help to me because I didn't know what I was doing. And then um, he finished his laundry. He went home. So I put in my laundry. I put in my dryer. I went to the store to do some errands and I came back and there was a woman there and she needed help. And she immediately came to me. There was no worker there. And she was like, you know, um, in Spanish, you know, Puede ayudarme? you know, yeah, I don't know how to do this. I go, okay. And then she noticed I was speaking in English. So she started speaking in English. And then I told her, oh no, hablo espanol. And then she started speaking to me in um, Spanish. So then I go, here, give me your card. And she goes, I, I, I need the help. And I go, okay. I took her card. We went, put the money in the card. 
and then came back, put the um, card in her dryer, and I was helping her. And she was like, thank you so much. She was like, I didn't know you speak Spanish. I go, oh, yeah, I said, I'm Samoan, but um, I live in Argentina for a year and a half for church. She goes, oh, oh, muy bueno, very good. And then um, she was saying that because she was really fair, gray hair, and she had green eyes. And um, she goes, I'm, I speak Portuguese, but I learned how to speak Spanish when I moved here to California. And she said that she's not from Brazil because when people speak Portuguese, we I automatically assume that they're from Brazil. She said, no, I'm from Portugal. And I was like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. And she was telling me that sometimes people mistaken her for a Russian or a German person. She goes, but no, I'm from Portugal, but I speak Spanish. I learned it here because Port Portuguese, we speak different, but it's similar. And I go, oh, okay, sick, sick. I mean, I didn't tell her that, but that's what I was thinking. So, um, you know, I just thought it was with that gentleman that helped me earlier in the morning, and then I was able to return and return, help this woman. I'm like, okay, pay it forward. Here we go. But uh, one, deed, one good deed leads to another, and I was very thankful for the gentleman who helped me, and then in turn, I was able to help this lady um, with you know, her card and stuff, because her English wasn't that good. I don't think she, she read in English, but um, she didn't know how to work the machine. So it just felt good to, you know, in turn, return the kindness, and that there still are, you know, genuinely nice people out there. And with this whole COVID pandemic thing, and um, hopefully everything opens up, we can have that genuine um, human to human <laughs> face-to-face -face interaction with other people and hopefully we're kinder to each other hopefully during this whole pandemic you know being closed up we realize the importance of other people and we realize the importance of how much we as humans we do need that social social contact and that tangible contact I mean six feet distancing of course but um, you know it's just in us of human nature to have that contact with other people. So I was really grateful that I was able to help this lady. It was a small act, but um, you know, nevertheless, I was nevertheless I was able to, to help her and, and do a good deed. <clears throat> so the moral of the story, guys, if you have a chance, can't, there goes Jesus behind me. Moral of the story, guys, if you have a chance to do a good deed, do it. Take it. Help help someone else. You know, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. That's not the point. The point is you're giving a helping hand to someone. And I'm sure I made her day because she was very grateful. And the gentleman who helped me, he made my day. So the other day I was talking about how, you know, so much in life depends on our attitude. And, and um, also a lot of things in life depends on us being willing to, to help one another in this, this world. And it reminds me of that song from Michael Jackson. Heal the world, make it a better place. So that's my message tonight, guys. I just, you know, felt motivated to share my experience. Be it small, you know, it was indeed a good deed. And it ended my day um, very nice. And also the opportunity I had to spend time with old friends and connect with them. So... Everyone, have a good evening. Remember, connect. We're all humans. We need that social contact, that 